what a gorgeous morning it is on the Gold Coast here. We're on the northern end, just on the broad water. I've got my rod in hand. We want to catch some fish. But first, we're going to get the bait, and there's no better way than doing it yourself. Well, I'm going to be joined very, very soon by a bloke that really knows how to do it. It's Doug Burt from Doug Burt's Tackle World, and we're going to be going for pink nippers, and he's going to show you guys exactly how to do it. So if you want to score a few fresh baits, there's no better way than doing it yourself. Little girl. Now dirty, oh my God. Yeah, I'm going to get splashed in the face. No, no, I'll bite you. Dougie, yes. can you show me some tips on yabby, yabby hunting? I sure can, Jade. So what we're looking for is we're looking for holes that are bunched up like this here. Yes. And any holes that have like uh, grey or black sand coming out of it, we don't go there because it's very thick. And I'll try and find okay. it when I'm digging to show you. Okay. And we want nice watery type uh, of sand. Yeah, because you were saying you don't want thick sand. Don't want thick sludge, no. No and thick sludge. The yabbies don't like it either. Okay. They move on to the next house. Okay, so show me how it's done. We'll give done. it a shot. So first dig we're going to do down to about here, halfway down, and then the next dig we're going to go all the way down to here, and there's one more dig down to here, and that's it. For, don't don't keep going. See a lot of people they keep digging like eight or ten digs out of one hole. Out of one hole. Once you get past three, you rarely get a yabby after that. So. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. This is a wet one. I'm talking about. So three. These little yabbies are really good for whiting on the size 4 and size 6 hook. So here, uh, it's soft. It'll be very, very dark sand. It's not the right sand. So, we're going to go over this way a little bit. There we go. So, we'll try to see if it might be slightly too. It is. So, as I said, I just want to show you, you rarely, if I do four digs, you never get it in black sand. You can see how this pump here, there's a few yabbies here as well. It's watery. That's the sort of um, bottom the, the sand that we're looking for. And when it's the thick sludgy type material, we don't want to know about it. So that's the bad stuff. The other thing too is you don't need to move far. You'll notice I'm going to move you maybe half a meter to a meter. That's it. So even on the third dig, you rarely will get yabbies as well. So first two are the most important ones. <laughs> Actually, just go down a little bit less on each one. How's that sound? Just push down less. <coughs> pull, pull that on the handle as you're going up. Try that. That's that, it. There you go. There you go. Oh, she's on the black one. That's why it's so hard. Oh, okay. But you get the yabbies. Yeah, you kick that in further now. And one more go, I think you might get one. Oh, it's a baby one. I got one. one. It's a baby one, man. <laughs> this one's no good. It's too small. But you see the cluster of, of holes like this? If you come in from this side here, it's not too bad, but also the water side is the easiest. Oh, so you got one? Well I got done. one. Well no. I don't... Ow! Oh, gotcha. Oh, oh okay. see, they're dangerous. See, even the little ones bite. She's getting, she's picking up straight away. She's a quick one. I know, she lives by oh. Oh. oh, you're kidding. Beautiful. Um, just over here. I've seen the same scenario. Yes. So that's like a... A whole family living down there. Yes. Sorry guys, we're about to knock on your door. But <laughs> just have to go right here. Is there anybody home? Yeah. Let's have a look. I did say yes. 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 We've got two. Yes. Beautiful. Quick. Beautiful. We, oh, we got three. One at your foot. As good as you're going to get. That's well done. <sighs> well done. And keep them alive, Andy. Um, the best thing to do is bring some. If you're going to go back home, take some a uh, couple of buckets of salt water with you. Yep. Preferably with a screwed on lid so that's filling your car. Yeah. And, yep. uh, and keep that water cool and even put them in the fridge. If you've got a fridge that your wife will let you put it into. <laughs> There's another one there too, though. You did get another one there. And, um, and what you do is you um, you need to put them in the fridge for like, if it's a hot summer day, for about two or three hours a day. They go into like a sleep, um, sleep solve shutdown. And then when you bring them back out and the water warms up, they come back to life again. Gosh. <laughs> there would have to be one big guy out on the prowl. <laughs> so that's yeah, not so what we like want. It's like black sludge. That big dude was just out having a bit of a roam around, so you're lucky to come across him. But mm. <laughs> normally it's nothing except black sand. So when you're the yabby with a big claw like that, just grab him from behind. 
and they won't be able to bite you, okay? If you put him in your hand like that, he will, bite, he will end up biting you. So just be careful of the big ones. Oh! Oh, oh stop it! Oh! oh got him. Oh! Look at that. And you don't even need a pump, you can just use your hand. And Andy's getting very quick, he's already de at him as well. So well, good work mate, saved Andy. That was in one time. move. Incredible, ninja. Alright, <laughs> so we're going to um, throw a couple on a hook. Dougie will show you how to do that bit. Yeah. And then hopefully there's a fish out there waiting for us. So what we're going to do is we're just going to give these a little bit of a, a rinse off just to get the sand off so we can have a better look at the yabbies that we've caught. Just give them a little bit of a shake. Now we're going to take the claw off this yabby. So what you want to do is you want to pick it up from behind. You just want to snap it off and it's gone. Now you're ready for fishing. So when we put the abbey on, we get the hook and we go down through the underside, through here, down through here. We're using like a size four or six long shank or a medium shank. And then don't go through here because it's very hard and that'll normally dislodge from its body. And we need this to keep moving because that's what attracts the fish. So, um, and if you go through the top part of his head and out, it, again, it dislodges it off the body and it doesn't move. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the side of his head about here sorry right over here and pop it out top the point out through here and that way the this part's still going quite hard on the in the water generally with the abbey that's such a great bait it, there's no need to for him to well, be half alive helps but um <laughs> they um they just get tacked straight away upside down straight in here like this in through the middle in through the middle at this point here just before the head i dig the hook out then I turn him sideways like this, and I go through the side of him like that, and I pop the tail up over the eye of the hook at the same time. Yeah, that's it. So the, the fish doesn't see anything bar the abbey, and his little legs are a bit moving around. If you sometimes um, pull up your line and and you've got like that, what you can do is you make it a big for the big fish. We pull that up up over, over the eye of the hook, and then we put on the next yabby. Oh, so we don't waste any abbeys. We don't waste any, no, that's oh, right. Oh, that's good. Even a little tail piece just like that size, we just push up the line a bit. But once you get to about two or three tails, we change, take it off. So, again, yeah. it becomes now a bigger bait and hopefully a bigger fish. Oh, no. today. What is that? This one here is a whiting. Thanks, <laughs> love. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tail whiting. Tar wine. Tar, tar tail wine. This is a tail wine. Yes, we'll call it that. <laughs> tail wine. Hi Jerry. <laughs> Let's just call him Tarwine. Tarwine. Very good. Oh yes. yeah. Oh yeah. As you can see, it's my uh, one of my PBs and Tarwines. I know Dougie's impressed. So Andy, um, you notice the pump's full of sand and, and dirty and and it's quite squeaky and full of sand in the shaft. So what we do when you finish digging yabbies. Uh, as we go out into the water like now, about a foot deep, hold it under the water and you'll see the sand spurt out of the side here. There's a lot of sand coming out there. Oops, surf's up. Oh, the handle has fell off. And we just do that about five times. And that just gets rid of most of the sand uh, in the pump. Then when you get home, just pull it out and just spray a bit of um, fresh water down there and on the shaft here. And, and that's it. And it's ready to go again next time because so many people have problems uh, with their pump seizing up and it's because they don't clean it when they finish digging the abbey. So look after your pump. Well there you go guys, that's how you get pink nippers off your local beach with this legend. Dougie Burton. And in Queensland we call them yabbies, so down south they call them nippers. Nippers, okay, yeah. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm from Adelaide, so that's my excuse. Do you get them in Adelaide? 
I have no idea. I think they but may. We get, they I do, mean, I think. What should they do? Well, down that way you get cockles, and they call yes. them pippies here. So, yes. you know, the, the famous mm. school were cockle. But, mm. yeah, we, we did an episode on them, them as well. So, right. yeah, yeah, very yeah, good. Digging them off the beach at oh, Army. Well, sounds good. Should I have said where you, you find them? <laughs> well, we're on the northern end of the Gold Coast here, digging yabbies off the foreshore. So, if you're in the area, come on down and uh, get your own yabbies. And go see this guy, Doug Burt, from Doug Burt's Tackle World on the Gold Coast. And I enjoyed digging the yabbies with you, mate. Yeah, and, and Jade. Hey, Jade, well, she caught all the fish. Yes, she did, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you little legend. Yeah. Yeah!